Is this thing on? Jujutsu Kaisen's the real season two just started. And it's a little bit of Gundam, a little bit of Dragon Ball Z, and we get everything I think we've ever wanted. We did. I couldn't tell you, you know, this, I was watching it, I, I've been, I savored, because I knew we were doing this in three episode chunks, try right. to get a little bit, we've li been a little bit busy with Baldur's Gate 3 on PS5. You Video can check out some of that. that. Yep. It is a little work in progress, something new to the channel we want to try. But yes. we're back here at one of our original animes, and now we're in season two. The Love first it. five episodes, which we covered, you might be, be able to see it above me, but we were waiting for this. Yuji's back, Megami's back, Nabarro's back. back, Yep. and I'll tell you, one of the most, one of my most favorite anime intros yeah, I love it. It's, it's eerie. It's yeah. fun. It it's has dark. All, and everybody's there. And you it's can, like, oh, he's there. He's there. So usually with um, anime intros, you get a brief idea about what's coming, and it looks like misery. I think something massive is yeah. going to happen. If, if we take what you said into account, something destructive and crazy, and it's going to take everything that we've ever had yep. in any of the, in the past season, you know, they're all there original curses are back the ones that were the the main people in season one yeah um i think a lot of our uh main cast died I, i'm good with that because like yeah. right now you know i did i did it did tickle me inside when i saw panda <laughs> and you saw because it, it, the season uh, episode one opened with um tojo and I, I can't think of her name at the headmaster of, uh may may yeah yeah at the headmaster they saying were all that Yuji, Nabara, Megami, Panda, all those people yes. have to. Uh, we recommend them to be grade one. And in order to do that, they had to go one up. Which you see them, they're all split up, but I think the first two episodes is the Gundam fight with focused on Megamaru. Can, can we Mechamaru. first talk about, for real quick, yeah. the idea to where this, this character, Megamaru, who has been in this vat, we never understood why. A healing solution, never, I would assume. We never <laughs> had any idea as to what put him there. No, we saw very small glimpses of him last in season one. Yes. Obviously, we, we accepted him as his robotic form, but there was a human always behind it that actually you could see growing a love interest with the blue-haired girl, which I can't think of her name either. I need to get a little bit better with names. I was beyond excited for Mihito to transfigure Mekumaru into what he was before he ended up in the vat. Right. And then we found out the Mekumaro he was using was like this much of his ability. Right. And it turns yes. out that his life force is the trade off for is his, his power. curse power. And what a horrible ability. Well, you got to think. So he was, you know, in that physical form at one point. And, you know, you look at the realistic side of it. Would you have did the same thing? So his whole goal was to, he understands what their whole plan is. Right. And he was right. trying to get to Gojo to tell him. But he never made it. And he was, like, double-crossing them. He was giving them information to get into a, a yep. rebuilt form of himself yes. because of Mojito and his trans-morphing power. Yes. But now I think he, had he was going to try time. to kill him anyway because yes. you saw his giant mech suit, which was a big part of his power. Well, Jujutsu Kaisen uh, Gundam is amazing. I thought The so, animation was fantastic. <laughs> the fight yes. scene was fluid. There was a little bit of humor amazing. in there. Amazing. You know, with their facial expressions and all their crap. But, like... There was no buildup. No. Nope. It was like season two nope. had started officially, and it was just press play on and action. And you know I like that. Yeah. So I was sitting here watching episode one and two, because we actually did watch episode three together. Episode one and two, I'm like, this is why I like this anime. Yeah. You know, truly, it, it's got everything gas now. and more uh, gas. Yuji got a glow up. He now seems more adult-like. He's probably 17 and a half, yeah. ready to be slanging around with Mei Mei or something. And actually, we see a little love interest peak up with Yuji. I forgot about that with the girl that came in from his school because, yeah. you know, you see what happens in two years out of high school or in high school mm -hmm. from being intro and then senior year or whatever. Um, I think Nabara has a little bit of feelings for my man Yuji. I thought so Because myself. she was getting kind of defensive, yeah, yeah, kind of yeah. weird about it. And I was like, eh. And now we also have this whole thing underlying that is just built up from the, the first part of season two, which is Megumi and his relationship to his father – and that's this always there. ability that he has that he hasn't pulled out yet. <laughs> and I just know this whole incident, this arc of the Shibuya incident. Yeah. I believe I'm saying it right. I'd say Shibuya, but Shibuya. I don't know. The, if, yeah, the Shibuya, way it looks on the screen. It is going to be incredible to watch. And I know by the end of it, um, 
Jujutsu Kaisen is going to get a lot of publicity for like if you aren't watching this anime, you should absolutely add it to your watch list. Well, I'm going to put like if this, it isn't there already, this Shibuya know? like because we're assuming that this whole season, the rest of season three is going to be I don't think this I'll... one night, basically like Demon Slayer with That's um, right. where he in season two, yeah. the Entertainment District. That was all like one night. It was like this much time. Yeah. And Which I, I like. Maybe the uh, Shibuya incident is one night, and then the aftermath is maybe following. Because the there's a lot to come out, because oh you got to see where they all are. you yeah. got to see you know, the fallout of what yep. comes from this. Because you know, ending, in episode three, I, I believe that Gojo is going to be put in a circumstance that he's going to have to make decisions. Do you kill non-sorcerers for the sake of killing the greater good? I think they kind of referenced that. Like, they did. Where do you pick? Do you, do you sacrifice normal people to fix, you know what i mean so i, I see that their coming. whole goal is to put gojo in some sort of prison oh uh, yeah because they're like uh like a ghetto referenced prison. some kind the of prison, prison yeah something because it was like a dual like field that blocked that like, kept non-sorcerers in allowed sorcerers in but everybody's been told to back off to not go help them you know you have yuji and maymay going to figure it out and yeah. like because yuji has a past with Mahito, but I don't know what why no one else is going to help. Oh, he transmogrified, uh, or however you say it, uh, Junpei. And ever since that incident, um, Yuji's wanted nothing more than to exercise Mahito. And do you think he's going to get it? I don't think Mahito's going anywhere. No, I, really I think don't. he's far stronger than we think. Yeah, I think he rivals Ghetto. You saw a little bit of like yeah. him fighting Mekamaru in that giant mech suit and get not even a scratch. It was do, he was playing with him. Do you know who else I think dies this season? Nanami. Because Nanami has been in a lot in the like the promo about him okay. having to fight, and uh, I can he already had one fight with uh, Mahito. I can see him dying. This he's season. with um, Megami. Yeah. That's so correct. that's where he's like he's the grade one that's shepherding around. I believe he does. Megami. And which is and I believe it's going to be tough. I but. believe Gojo actually gets in prison too. I think they succeeded. Oh, because now I think that's going to be the focus of the season to yep. save him. It's kind of like uh, in Dragon Ball Z, where at one point uh, Goku was so strong they had to find a way to get him out of the story, so that way they could let other people kind of. Well, it's like, like One Punch Man. Because at one point, exactly. Like, yeah. Saitama, like, at one point, it's like we have to make sure that we do something with the main character right. because at the end of the day, he could always show Who's up and make come sure back and he just wrecks your idea no matter what right. you want to do. So I, that's why I'm thinking from a storytelling perspective, right. they are going to succeed in kind of making Gojo go to the side Which and cool allowing with. our, um, our main three to. Uh, I, flourish. Yes. I don't think anything happens to Nabaro or Megami no. or Yuji. Our, our OG three are safe. Is Megamaru dead? Yes. You think so? I believe Megamaru's dead. That's... Oh, Miwa is uh, the blue hair girl. Okay, so the one that's catching feelings for the robot. They had feelings for meet, each other. They want to meet him, but I... Yeah. The way he looked when Mahito left him... You think he's dumb? Oh, he's God. Gone. Yeah, I think yeah. they got him. He, like, stabbed somewhere in this area. Yeah. And he's just going to bleed out because they wouldn't have left him. And no one's going to find him. Three se three episodes in. and they I'm, destroy it's a dam, amazing. though. And the repercussions of that would cause people to probably wonder, you know, when the dam shattered yeah. and the towns are flooded. But, you know, those things we have to worry about. Um, I think we're – because I, I think the Shibuya night's going to be a few episodes. But we're going to roll into normal because we got to save Gojo. Oh, this fight, I believe, will be several episodes still. This oh, incident, God, yeah. Oh, yeah. Several We're at episodes. least half the season, yeah. I believe. Because, you know, we just ended episode, episode three killing that locust, which we were discussing while, while we were watching it, that uh, could you imagine human-sized insects no, and how dead. fast we wouldn't survive? Like if a spider was the size of a German <laughs> shepherd? <laughs> Correct. We're, de we're dead. Yeah, like, just stop. Just stop. It's like the zombie apocalypse. Just run running, just stop. Yeah. <laughs> a locust the size of, like, you Six, know. two. Nope. Three, 300 pounds. Nope. All exoskeleton. Yeah, no. Nah. We're, we're gone. <laughs> Tells you how clever he is. I'm so time. happy the season's back. No, and it is. I think that those three episodes have been by far the greatest thing I've watched in at least season three of uh, Layman's Review. Yeah. It's, Minimum. It is going to be a ride. I'm glad we got 18 episodes uh, for this season. Now, they number it weird on Crunchyroll. Because this was technically do. episode 32. Yeah it, yeah, it was. Because they're like putting all the episodes together. It's like, together. hey, pick your poison. What do you want? Yeah, I, exactly. I don't know. Yeah. So I hope you said if we're getting that many episodes, I'm thrilled. So we're going to be reviewing the next chunk of three when they come out. And we're also at the same time going to be trying to drop our playthrough of 
Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. Which we just did our first session. It's going really well, so stay tuned for that. And Ryan managed to peel these delicate fingers off of World of Warcraft. And he's learning for PlayStation. So, I am. Uh, I got yeah. a beautiful PlayStation and to invest in a good time. I'm As told. always, guys, <laughs> if you like what we're doing around here, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you for the next episodes of Jesus, you guys.